Okay, in this video we're going to try to find the probability of randomly selecting a score between a z-score of negative 0.11 and a z-score of positive 0.45. Okay, so graphically, take a look at this normal um, distribution right over here on the far right-hand side, up in the corner. So again, we're looking for um, the probability of selecting a randomly selecting a score as a z-score greater than negative 0.11, but less than positive 0.45. So what we're doing is we're trying to find this area right here. All right? We're not necessarily concerned about the tails or the other sides, right? We're just worrying about just the middle section right here, okay? Now, keep in mind, though, that what it's doing is it's crossing this mu, right? So this is the mu, this is the average line. So for this one, we're going to have to use column D, okay? Again, column D in the unit normal table is um, when you're trying to find the proportion between the mean and Z. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find this area right here, and then we're going to try to find this area right here. We're going to add them together. Okay, so the first option, or the first thing we need to do is find um, 0.11 for Z. And 0.11 for Z is right here. Okay, so again, we're looking at the D column. So um, we want um, 0 0.0438 is our... Um, 0.11 for z, right? And again, that's not um, for the z for the unit normal table. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. Okay, it understands that you know that if I say negative 0.11 gives me a d column of uh, 0.0438, it also understands that you know it's the same thing if it's going to be a positive. So for the next one, we're going to do positive 0.45, and that is right here, right? So positive 0.45 gives us, um, in the D column, right, um, 0.1736, and that's in the positive 0.45 column. So all you need to do then is add together um, 0.0438, plus 0.1736, and that gives you um, 0.2, so you're going to add those together, 0.2174, um, or percentage-wise, 21.74%. And so what you're saying is, okay, what's the probability of me just randomly selecting a score. And that score, having a z-score between, right, um, positive 0.45 and negative 0.11. So you're looking again for this middle section here. And that's where we're going to use the d column. 